Hi, my name is Tim with O's College. There are several ways to install the latest version of LibreOffice on a Linux distro. One of those ways is by installing the Flatpak for the suite through the FlatHub store. This video shows two ways of installing the LibreOffice Flatpak, which is located in the FlatHub store, either through a distro software manager or store, or by using the command using a command in the terminal app, such as this one. Your distro needs to have the FlatHub store installed before the instructions on this video can be performed. Many Linux distros come with flat, the FlatHub store pre-installed, such as Linux Mint 20.04 here, Zorin, Elementary OS, and Pop! OS are a few others. The FlatHub store, however, can be installed on any Linux distro. In addition to this web page, information about how to install it on various distros are below this video on the OS College web page, in the video description on YouTube and Vimeo, and in social media posts. Using the software manager or software store that is part of your, your distro, search for LibreOffice. The easiest way may be to, to simply type in the search box. Some managers like the one in Linux Mint allow you also to click flat pack to see a list of flat packs there are various other ways to find the LibreOffice flat pack however in some searches it will show flat hub in parentheses like it does here in the Linux Mint software manager if, if it doesn't have flat hub in parentheses, you can most likely guess correctly which item it is. I've installed flat hub on Ubuntu, which also has the Snap Store pre-installed, and therefore there are several versions of LibreOffice available. And one note about that is if you are using Ubuntu, it is in the, the software store simply called Software, not Ubuntu Software. Ubuntu software does not contain flat packs. It contains snaps in other repositories, but not flat packs. So if you do install Flat Hub on Ubuntu, all your, your Flat Hub pack apps will be found in software. But when you're looking at the list for LibreOffice, you can see that there's this white one, which this is the this is the Flat Hub one. And there's several individual apps. It's not the these apps. These are from a different repository. And it's this top one is a Snapcraft, but it may be hard depending on which distro you're using to differentiate between the Snap, the Snap, and the Flat Pack because it's they're probably they're going to be most likely both represented by the white LibreOffice icon and it's not going to list flat hub or snap in the description so this is where, where you'll have to guess so I'm going to choose this and and you can double check simply by once you go to the page for the, the particular app you can scroll down and it will say something like source or repository and it will say flat hub so if you want we're in the snap one it would say Snapcraft. So that's that's how you can know for sure if you're going for a flat pack versus a snap. And then the next step is to simply click the install button. You do that and there might be further instructions. You might be required to enter your administrator password. This would be the case if you were using Linux Mint. And, and there might be additional additional parts that you have to install, different applications that are associated with LibreOffice. But all in all, when it's finished installing, 
you should have the latest version of the LibreOffice Suite in a flat pack. The second way to install Libre, the LibreOffice flat pack is through the command line or terminal. And this actually is is when you're comfortable with the terminal is a lot easier way to install the LibreOffice flat pack than using the store software manager. You simply launch the terminal and at the prompt type this command flat pack space install flat hub space and then the location of the LibreOffice flat pack which is org.libreoffice.libreoffice with the capital L and capital O. Type it, press return, and then f follow the prompts and, and directions in the terminal, such as typing yes. And you might have to enter your administrator password. and then simply wait for it to install. Once it's installed, you'll see a, a message that says something like installation complete and see an empty prompt again. And as you can see, it should, the correct version should now be installed. Yep, the latest version right now is 7.2.12 and it's the latest stable version and it is, a, it is a flat pack. Be sure to visit the OS College website and check out the other videos about installing LibreOffice on Windows, Mac, and the various ways it can be installed on a Linux distro. These videos also can be found on the OS College YouTube channel and on social media outlets such as the OS College Facebook page and MeWe. On this video, if you're watching on, on YouTube, be sure to click subscribe and like and you will receive notifications of future videos about LibreOffice and other Office applications. Thank you for watching.